Okay, this video will show you how to do uh, P versus Alpha using the, <clears throat> well, P versus Alpha, uh, but with proportions instead of the mean, okay? So, a well-known brokerage firm claimed that 30% of investors are currently confident in meeting their goals. Now, that's the population proportion. Uh, the sample size would be 500. Now, I wanted to make this spreadsheet universal sometimes they say well like 200 of 500 um say this that or the other right but they didn't say that they flat out just told you 30 percent okay so you just put 0 0.30 here 0 0.30 because that's the population proportion all right you skip the number of yeses in the sample because they didn't tell you that all right um 0.10 okay so again, there's nothing here. They just gave you this directly. You don't need to calculate it based on this. And the sample proportion is um, 35%. So 0.35 goes here. Okay. So because they said test to claim that the proportion of people who um, is larger than 30%. Okay, larger. So the null hypothesis, or the alternative hypothesis is um, larger. Okay. So... <clears throat> That would be that uh, this one right here. Okay, that's the only one where the alternative hypothesis is greater than thirty percent. Okay, so it's a right tail test. All right, and after we calculate that, the test statistic is two point four four. They said round to two. Uh, well, it said three uh, three decimal places should be two point four two two point four four zero. Oh, okay, two point four four. 2.440 if you run that to three places. And since it's a right tail test, our P value is 0 0.0073. And based on the fact that P is less than alpha, P, which is the 0 0.0073, is less than alpha, which is 0 0.1, we reject an all hypothesis. Okay. P is less than alpha, reject an all hypothesis. Okay.